We seek happiness as, 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 in things. I remember when I was a, a, a boy, when Super Bowls first came out, <laughs> and that, they were called Wonder Balls, stick there. And I just, I, my heart was on it, I wished for it, I dreamed of it. Uh, happiness was a Super Bowl, I told all my, just waiting for my father to get it for me, finally I got it, and it was good. But that was about it, you know, lasted in a week, and you know, I had its ups and downs, and that was it. I remember I got a new refrigerator once, and the old one broke. I got a new refrigerator, and I realized I'm happy because of the refrigerator. I'm thinking about the refrigerator. My eyes are like, I was like, wait a minute, I'm having a relationship with a refrigerator. <laughs> and after a while, you know, it was a children relationship. That was, that was People see happiness in substances, alcohol, drugs. They go right from substance to pleasure. You know, oh, it's like, that's like the direct way. You're getting pleasure. It's, it's going to your brain. It's going right. But in a, it, it, over time, you become miserable. Yeah. Actually burns out your brain for pleasure. Some people look for, obviously, for sexual pleasure as an end in itself, as opposed to marriage and love and all that. It doesn't leave you with any fulfillment at the end. Mm -mm. That's why, see, people become addicted because they're trying, they're going by pleasure. And the other side of the coin is this. The people who seek to live to avoid any pain, any conflict. And they become addicted to painkillers. The ancient hedonists, or even they would indulge themselves with it, all kinds of stimulation, and end up, they eat, they make them throw up so they get more, they were miserable. Why did the gospel spread so quickly through the Roman Empire? Because it was so empty, so bankrupt, that so that when they had a gospel, it was so much like life, as it was. Much of modern culture is based on this principle. Modern American culture about instant gratification. To indulge right away, you know, the advertisements are based on that. Because they know how to push your buttons. Fast food, I want it. Fast food, and I want it now because I'm hungry. I can't wait. So now we have to have drive throughs because the fast food is not fast enough, so I don't even want to get out of my car. Instant, instant gratification. Mm -hmm. The economy runs on that. Commercials to say, hey, indulge this, indulge that, indulge that, but it doesn't give you joy. Believers who are, are affected by it too. We have this, this, this principle in modern Christianity. Churches do studies to see what's going to give people pleasure. What part did they not like? What part this? Rather than what's the truth? What should I preach about? I shouldn't preach about this because it doesn't give pleasure. So instead of truth, you get pleasure. You get pleasure that doesn't give you anything and you end up being miserable because you have no gospel in that. Because the gospel is truth. So we have this, this culture in Christianity based on feeling. How does it make you feel? Sometimes this gets mixed up as, as God doing something. And, you know, it's, it's God, it's charismatic, it's God. A faith that's based on emotion, you know, you know, something that I want, but I say it's God doing this, or I felt the leading, but it's me too. God can lead, but so much. When you go by feeling, it's hard to know what God is. Mm. We have the word emotion. Emotion has the word motion in it. Because, you know, reality, your, 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 your well-being cannot be based on something that changes. It's got to be based on what doesn't change. God. Hmm. 